College just celebrated its 50th anniversary recently, and this is a tragedy. Um, and our hearts and prayers go out to the families and to the staff and, and students who witnessed this atrocity. This is a real crisis situation. We really want to thank, uh, it's been an amazing outpouring uh, of community support. We have taxi cab drivers volunteering to take students home from the fairgrounds. We have law enforcement, all kinds of agencies, grief counselors there for the students and staff. Um, at the fairgrounds, they opened their doors to us. The city manager has helped us. The city, the county commissioners have helped us. The governor's office has helped us. All the other colleges in Oregon have offered their help. We appreciate all the help that everybody has given us today. We are still sorting through, trying to reunify students with their families, and that is the highest priority right now. We have families waiting for the last bus to arrive with students on it, and we have grief counselors for those parents who have no children coming off that bus. So that's been our highest priority and why I haven't been in front of the press before now. Um, but as this rolls through, tomorrow the college will be closed. This weekend the college will be closed for all student activities that were planned. We will be open again for classes on Monday. Right now it is a crime scene, so people in the neighborhood who are used to being on campus and walking in the afternoon, we're asking them to please stay away. Uh, we are trying to get to the bottom of this. It is extremely sad right now to watch these families wait for the last bus. Um, and I'm sure that you understand why we have um, priorities that put those needs in front of your needs right now. But thank you for coming. President, how many students were on campus at the time of the incident? It was a full full day, and we have about 3,000 students, but they're not all there at one time. And this was the fourth it day was in the Yeah, it was in the morning, so that's usually when it's the most busy. Um, so I don't know exactly how many students were there, but it was a busy campus. What kind of security do you have on campus? We have security, and we also work closely with local law enforcement, but we have security on campus. We have a security officer and a security team. We have a, a plan in place for campus violence, and we went into lockdown immediately, and uh, people did exactly what they were supposed to do and pulled in people that were outside in and, and sheltered them. So all of that... Are they armed work. security? No, we do not have armed security. Have you been given any information about the shooter or the shooter? None, none. Could you give us a sense of the age range of students no, at the college? Because we haven't identified all the students. Well, just generally, what's the It's a community population? college, so the student population goes from 16 to 60. So it's a community college. It's the same student demographic that all of them have. Can you confirm how many security officers there are now? On campus? Any we have, uh, it's an interesting question. We have a, a campus security officer. We have a security, the head of that program that schedules them 24 hours a day. Then we have another supervisor who is, uh, has licensing to, to assist with that, who supervises that person. All of them are on campus. We also have some retired law enforcement personnel who are on our staff who, who moved into positions of control as soon as possible. Everybody that was off campus came and, and to help us out. We understand that one of the persons that used to work there, security got on Lars Larson today and said that they're only allowed to carry mace on campus. They're not allowed to have concealed weapons. Is that true? We're not going to get into that. Are you aware of any threats to the students, no. to staff, the school? No. We would have followed up on that if we had it. Tell us how you're going to get this. I personally was on my way to a pro president's conference in Grants Pass, and I heard about it because my cell phone started ringing, and I pulled off the freeway and found out about it and turned around to come back. I have families who have been taken to the hospital been alerted. A family had that their members, family members, have been taken to the hospital. The families have been re reuniting with their their the students off and on all afternoon, and they they know to call Mercy Hospital, and they know that some students were evacuated to Eugene. Are you able to tell us in general what your policy is for concealed weapons on campus? We have a no guns on on campus, uh, no guns on campus policy. What are the repercussions for those who do bring a gun onto campus? I, I can't get into that now. Can you talk to us about the safety like drills you guys may have done for after We just had one at in-service last week. Last week? Mm -hmm. For what students as well? 
not for students. The, the staff is responsible for student safety. Can you just tell us how you're feeling personally? I feel awful. I feel awful. I mean, to witness the families that were waiting for the students in the last bus, um, and to see all of the hugs and weeping and trauma that's gone on, more people were hurt than just the ones that were shot. The ones that were shot, that's one level of trauma, but there's, there's psychological trauma. We have veterans with PTSD on our campus. They had a particularly bad day. Um, I have staff who've had experiences that this brought back for them. So we've been very, very concerned and very appreciative of the mental health people in the community who've been, who, hey, they've swarmed down to the, to the fairgrounds to help us. It's the, I can't even express to you how many people have come to help us and just showed up. Um, the city manager, the county commissioner, all of them just showed up and started helping. It's a very tight-knit community um, and the whole community rose to the occasion today. Roseburg High School sent their buses to evacuate the students. Everybody has been helpful. There's a fly attacking me. So does the school have any knowledge of the shooter posting on any uh, no. social media forums no. beforehand? No. We're going to take one more question and then we're going to plan to come up later this afternoon, but if anyone has one other question, we'll take that right now. Any changes going to come and any changes in mind about security at the school? At the no, school? no. This is an anomaly. It's a tragedy and it's an anomaly. And um, no, we have a beautiful, warm, friendly, loving campus and we intend to keep it that way. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.